Hey guys, this is uh, pretty much part two video of the roof. Uh, this, these are the pictures that I took while I was, um, you know, acquiring the roof and installing it. And the first picture is when I when I cut it out. Second one, pretty much when I put it in the vehicle. Um, right here is just the outside of the of the tub and the and the glass itself. Here's the skin that I cut out out of the Lincoln. Um, this is before I trimmed it. Um, and this this is the canvas that I pretty much started with. That was my nice flat red roof. And this is the skin after I trimmed it up, cleaned up the edges, and you know it was pretty much ready to weld in after that point. But that wasn't before I had to do all this measuring. Measuring was a key point in this whole thing. And as you can see here, I got measuring tapes, masking tape, markers. Um, there you go with a yardstick. And, and that outline of the tape was pretty much um, the outline of the skin. And then the marker is pretty much the outline of the actual glass. So this took, you know, quite a bit of hours just to figure this out, make sure it was straight. And, you know, that measurement in the front was the key point to the whole thing. So, I mean, this stuff is really important. So that's once I cut it out, that was pretty much the point of no return. Either you put this thing in or not. And um, like I said, this is the first time I did anything like this. Here's once I cut out the original roof and you know, I had to go ahead and cut out those crossbows. And here's the skin just sitting on top of the crossbow. After, you know, worlds of measuring, here I was just in putting, putting it, fitting it in pretty much, just making sure everything's good after I cut out the crossbows. Um, I had a really nice gap between the uh, the original roof and the skin, so I started welding it in right here. As you can see, there's almost no gap. I mean, and that's just because of all the measuring that I had to do. Um, welding this thing in was a hell of a process. You know, you gotta start at one end. You work pretty much catty corner and you cool down your welds as you go. And it, it's a process, it takes quite a while. And I would advise to take your time. Here it is, um, after grinding it down and just some rattle can primer. And th there it is pretty much done. The reason I, the reason I say to take your time is because this, this, this metal is thin and it warps. So you gotta cool down as you're welding it. That's just another angle pretty much. Uh, these are some tea nuts is what they call them tea nuts. I got them at a local hardware store and uh, These pretty much I welded them in to where the tub mounts on the inside So if you see the inside of the skin, you see some square holes and those it, Those you got three across the front and then two in the middle and I welded in those tea nuts in Every single one of those locations. Um, I had to grind out all that down clean it up Weld it in, and those are pretty much my five mounting points for the roof. Let me see, there's, yeah, five, five mounting points, and then there's two in the back. Uh, here is just pretty much the, the, the bracket that I welded in to the skin, which made this thing really sturdy. And if you see my previous video, I explained that a little bit. Uh, that's, that's a pretty important part right there. And as you can see, the square hole is pretty much right next to it. So it's a big, uh, here's the brackets that I made for the rear mounts of the sunroof. Um, they're in the very back. There's two on the very back on each side, close to the drains in the back of the tub. Um, I bended it. You don't gotta get fancy with it. This is pretty much a 3 inch steel. You know, I drilled in a hole, welded in the, the T-nut and the way I bent it was pretty much at the edge of the concrete and a hammer. Y'all don't gotta get fancy with it. Keep things simple. Um, here is one I clamped in the bracket and pretty much up against the, the body of the car. And you can see how it, that, that's another clamp, another pretty much directly from the bottom where you can see where I welded in the T-nut and that, that's the bracket off of the tub bolted right up here's where I welded it in real simple real easy clean everything welded 
um, that holds the, the, the back of the tub itself and that made it really sturdy itself so I would advise to do something like that this is a roof that doesn't belong on a car so I mean there's pretty much no right way to do it you know you just kind of improvise as you go here I had to use my stud gun to pull out the metal you know before I did the body work um, there was a few low spots there and I got them out as best as I could and then began the, the filler I started uh, doing the body work on this thing, getting as flat as possible. Um, I got, I don't know how many hours in that, but it, it was it was kind of dreadful at first, but then, you know, if you like doing these things, you know, they're fun after a while. So here I, here I was again doing the body work. Um, and that's pretty much just an overview of the shell itself uh, in polyester primer. You see that big giant hole in the roof, which I absolutely love. This is the last process of the filler. And for the filler, you can kind of see it there in the background, um, but what it's called is Rage Gold. And there you go, you got the part number right where it says uh, next to every coat. I would not use anything else, honestly. Um, pretty much the last stage of the bodywork here before the polyester primer. And upcoming, you should have a picture of the, well, Dura blocks. Yeah. I use every single one of these blocks on this roof 30 inch, 16 inch, and a 12 inch. Uh, that's the first stage of the polyester primer. Taped up all the glass and everything really well, all the tracks. And that's pretty much the final product before paint. Um, I still gotta block all that, make sure everything's nice and flat. And here's a couple of videos of the roof opening and closing. And that was actually before the body roof. That's when I yeah, mounted up the tub and everything. And man, was I excited at this point. And that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you guys have any more questions or comments like, on this big old hole in my roof, anything, uh, let, me me up, let me know. I'll be glad Thank to you. answer them. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.